all right now it's been a while i have put any azure sentinel related videos and any videos been a while because i've been pretty active on social media platform i have been getting some inquiries so okay i decided to put something on azure sentinel incidents because this is my live environment and i'm also check uh, some predefined rules and activity in my office 365 in azure and uh, as you can see uh, there's a ton of uh, information available some of them are um, uh, test and some of them are um, uh, legitimate but they are all real but the threshold and everything that's been configured and that's why these incidents are being reported so uh, doesn't mean if there's something in high is in high incident because the way I have set up those incident based on my requirement so let's just walk through so kind of uh, give you some understanding so the one I'm gonna look at it here is July 6th and legacy auth means somebody there's an attempt for legacy authentication uh, logging in to my tenant now if you see uh, these are the details somebody used my id ip address and all that stuff so what i'm going to do is uh, find the details and uh, verify because that's 74 ip if it looks familiar one of my ip addresses here in us um, but again um, is something you want to dig into that you can say that so um, here uh, when i clicked on this uh, the 74 is uh, is in uh, seems to be a known ip address uh, but the uh, authentication detected at this time the incident number as you can see if this ip has any outbound or any connection to this ip is all clear uh connection with t1 and all that stuff not this let's take a look what 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 do we get here if there is any uh, good information available or not uh, this is the link to log analytics rule name I set it up rule if there's an attempt so it could have been my MacBook or something so this is what you need to dig into that uh, incident by incident uh, and then you have to set those up and dig into those and find more details so let's switch here uh, and let's go back basically to more incident so I would wanted to give you some more details uh, looking at some other uh, alerts basically and this is how you can troubleshoot uh, when you set up your live tenant basically uh, audit activity by user anonymous anomalous activity if there's any any admin activity but I wanted to look at something maybe admin activity let's see if what's what we find here and we the data is available and then we can go to the full details and see what do we find here it's july 10 2 p.m my time in us in eastern time it's a medium initial access execution um entity the administrator system order id let's dig into that and find what's there and then it comes to your log analytics where you know uh, this is how the alert was generated you can click more details and uh, you can log in and see if there are any further details available what query was run basically um, you know uh, that's there and that's the data you show then it will show you more details the counts and everything the entities um, and the tenant name and everything um, so that's one way of doing it and then you can put the chart because there are not enough data available so you cannot go and look for chart uh, again you can look for more hunting and uh, find some more details around that if I go back to more incidents where you incidents are being generated uh, then you can click on for example the test rule i created or maybe i want to give something not on the user legacy we covered already anomalous which is a high basically and we want to see why this is there are four 
events one alert and it appeared as high and there have been like based on these five tactics now it's gathering the data and see if it's, uh, it's related to a sign in activity if you look at this um, basically this is a legitimate but i can ignore this because it's uh, probably i was going to log in because my location as you can see so uh, that's why you know in that case I would not be concerned because it it created because it's, it's you know I know it's my location and I've been using this so that's why I created those alert and see they are working the way it's supposed to be that's why you can do is that in this type of alert um, you need to exclude your IP let's say your office IP or something or you can exclude the location where you log in you know there could be some different creative ways of doing it that's what you have to do so that's where so here let's say if you're getting a logging in from any unknown ip location which you have never logged in before or it's known unknown or not detected by azure this is why it's showing up that okay there's a request from this ip so this is even more useful than uh, unknown ip location trying to sign into your that uh, then you have to further dig into that so now i have do not have so many accounts it's just one or two account but in a bigger environment if you're getting a lot of unknown ip location logging into your environment that you have to take different approaches and do some more analysis and then you have to dig into that so this is a in a nutshell that azure sentinel incidents how does it work you'll have to set it up and then once you come to the dashboard they get reported and from there uh, you can take action you can do further investigation so this is the logs being collected from different sources which I've already explained in my other videos that how do you collect the logs from different data connectors and in my new videos I'll be covering some other more new updated stuff so stay tuned subscribe my channel and uh, watch for some more videos thank you and bye